गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल वंस अगेन एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस ऑफ वन ऑफ द न्यू कंपनी मे वी जस्ट कैम इन टू द पिक्चर लास्ट फ्यू फाइव टू सिक्स ईयर बैक एंड द कंपनी हैज गिवेन ए अल्टीमेट रिटर्न प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी इज वेरी वेरी गुड एंड वेन यू वेन यू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ दिस कंपनी यू विल बी वेरी हैप्पी दैट दिस कंपनी हैव ए गुड फ्यूचर प्रोस्पेक्ट the company name is avro india limited and current price of this company is just 111 rupees which is very genuine uh, investor can go and invest in this company very easily and nicely now if you talk about the company incorporated in 1996 company is selling the plastic molded furniture and <coughs> granules so let's go into the website of the company like you can how many information we can gather from there so you can see these are the some chair companies manufacturing companies also have level at amazon site and you can you can uh, order your product this company product from amazon so these are the table you can see some some baby chairs baby tables these are they are all also manufacturing you can go more detail and you can check more information from here so let's focus on fundamental analysis okay now you can see the market cap of this company just 112 crore and market current price is 111 high price of this company 170 rupees and low price 93.7 a stock p is 27.4 book value of the stock is 26.6 dividend is nothing company is not paying single rupees dividend return on capital employed this company is 20.5% and return on equity is 17.8 face value of this company this uh, this stock is 10 which is also very good and peg ratio is 0.74 whenever you see the peg ratio is less than 1 is called a very good peg ratio <laughs> equity capital is 10.1 and also you can say here the current ratio of this is this stock is 1.67 it means that the current asset is 1.6 time of their current liabilities price to book value is 4.17 and growth factor is 2 so this is one of the concern here when so you have to also check with your uh, financial advisor before taking any further uh, position in the stock because growth factor is 2 which is less than 3 so whenever you see the growth is less than 3 means that there is some risk maybe stock may go slow in the future piotrowski 6 whenever you see the price to piotrowski 6 6 or more than 6 is called very good stock now return on asset for last 5 years 7.75% and debt to profit is 3.88 it means that the company's debt is increasing that is and they are having debt and it is returning the debt back to the bank uh, very quickly but uh, they are they are having uh, some high uh, debt profile ultimate score is 6.64 whenever you see the ultimate score is 3 or more than 3 is called very good ultimate score and difference is iv in 95.7 it's saying that the current price of the stock is something is lesser than their intrinsic value <coughs> number of equity shares is 1.01 and before 10 year back it was 0.05 so company has diluted some stock because the stock size was very small so they uh, they, they diluted and they created the stock till 1.01 number of equity capital so solid check you can say 20 which is very very high and eps for latest quarter is 1.0 and for eps for full year is 4 so these things you have to always check before taking in position in this stock now let's talk about the long term chart of this company you can say that the company's price is moving from 20 rupees to 111 rupees just 3 years so uh, you have to very careful about the price movement maybe it is very high but uh, as per the peg ratio and other indicator showing that the company price may go up what are the pros there is no pros at all but right now the cons are there company is reporting repeated profit but not paying dividend this is one concern and also earning include some other income of 3.61 crore that you have to also think about whenever you take a further decision now let's talk about other information like p comparison the company is doing the same kind of business what supreme industries is doing astral is doing phenolis doing prince pipe is doing so these kind of plastic company and also avro india is also doing a plastic creating a plastic product <laughs> now if you see here the sales of this company december 2021 the sales of this company was 9.69 crore but now it is showing 18.97 so you can say some exponential increase in the sales but since 2022 to till here 
you can say the overall sales is not improving too much it is still at flat similarly if you talk about operating profit it is also something flat 1.3 crore was in uh, december 2021 it still is 1.55 crore operating margin is, is around around uh, 7 to 8 9% and interest is also increasing along with every quarter because right now it's the increasing uh, interest they are paying is 35 lakhs but earlier is what it was 0.07 profit before tax was 0.97 but now it is showing 1.37 net profit is also was 0.5 but now it is 1.02 so that you have to always check that profit is increasing uh, for this company along with interest is also increasing sales of this stock is increasing from 13 14 crore to now 80 crore and operating profit increase from 1.44 crore to 5.4 as per the annual return along with that the company interest is also increasing earlier it was 30 30 lakh full year but now it is 1.19 crore that is also one of the concern for this company whenever you're going to invest you have to be very careful about it and check all the fundamental with your financial advisor Net profit also increased either as, as we discussed if you talk about the compounded profit growth the company's compounded profit growth is showing 37% and a stock CAGR is 49% it means that the company's growth is very intact company sales are increasing every year if you talk the annual return it was it was it is showing very exponential growth in the sales but if you talk about the quarterly right now it is showing flat so return on equity for last 5 years 14% but if you talk about the equity capital, earlier equity capital was 1.58, but now it is 10.09. So company has diluted their stock to increase the uh, uh, more share trading in the, in the in the market. But this is not uh, considered as a good for long term investor. <laughs> borrowing also increased from 1 crore to now 16 crore borrowing company is having. That is one of the concern for this company. Why this much uh, borrowing they are increasing. Along with that, the investment also in company has uh, some 93 lakh investment. And if you talk about inventory, the company inventory is 8 crore, trade receivable is 21 crore, and cash equivalent almost 1 crore. So these are some good uh, information the company is having. So you, you have always, you have to consider during these stock selections. Company is having some good cash flow right now. Uh, in positive side, it's almost 10 lakh rupees, but still companies have 1 crore uh, cash in the hand. If you talk about ratio, the company's debtor days uh, improving here. Inventory days also improving, 41 to 40 days. Days payable also improved from 65 percent to 23, so 65 to 23 days. And cash conversion cycle is something flat, 82 to 93. And working capital also, you can say it's flat from 86 to 89. So overall return on capital employed is improved from 17 percent to 20 percent in 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 March 2023. Shareholding, if you talk about the co company's management, never changing a single uh, percent of their equity. They are not send, uh, selling one single equity and, and holding intact. 70.37, it means that the company management is having full conviction on the stock. And in the future, there is a good probability for the stock. They will improve and they will uh, the price uh, share, share price will in increase. So always check with the advisor before taking further position in this company. Uh, I, I would request to all of you. And thank you for watching this video and coming back to our channel. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.